guys, Mark Lassane from Bass Angler Magazine. I want to talk to you a little bit about something I do every time I go fishing. I mean, I'm talking every time. Salt water, fresh water, doesn't matter. Bass, most of the time. It's about this, this little button here. See, this is, and this is the angler button. So let me show you how the app works and what it does. Real easy, real easy setup and to go fishing. So here we are, look at the angler. Here's our angler app. We pull it up and see these are my trips you can see i've been at like shasta quite a bit here recently and so you go to fish mode right so we're going to go to fish mode we hit the little green arrow and it says it comes up with morning trip or afternoon trip wherever you're at so we're going to change that and we're going to type in shasta and then that way that way i know where i'm at so I save it. So, and then you have conventional ice fishing, fly fishing. So we're gonna do conventional and we're doing it in a boat, power boat. And then we hit start trip. Okay. So now what this thing does is this little dot here is gonna follow us all around the lake, wherever we go. And it'll also give us the current conditions for that lake. Okay. So, but what we wanna do is that every time we catch a fish, there's two ways to do it. Once we can either hit this little fish icon you can add a picture, you hit done, we'll do it real quick, and it puts a fish right on there, okay? Second way, which is much easier a lot of times when you're fishing, um, you just hit the button and it'll ding, automatically put a fish in there. So let's make sure that we're paired up. So we hit the little wrench symbol here down at the bottom. And so this is your other things. It'll give you water, weather, right? And it'll give you devices. So we click on devices and it says bullseye, okay? searching click to connect click to connect so we're going to click this and now this one is connected okay so now bullseye is connected but one thing i learned the hard way is that you need to go back to your screen here before it's going to work if you leave it in the setup mode it won't work so now we're going to hit it ding comes up right we catch a fish boom so and then we say that's a fish we're going to pretend we use photo and hit done now that fish is in there when we click on that it brings that up brings that photo up so other things we can do to this so but we can hit edit we can edit the date location edit catch right so we can say species okay that was a smallmouth bass uh, weight was 2.0 pounds okay um, length uh, yeah two pounders probably 17 inches 17 inches gear okay so what do we catch that on so we can you we can put tackle in or rod combo so let's use a couple things that i have let's just say we caught it on a crankbait uh say we caught it on a river to sea tactical dd crankbait so let's click that hit save right and then we put in notes and let's say a note we go uh that one was in 15 what uh on a point so now we know that we caught a two pounder uh, on a tactical DD crankbait 15 foot on a point and we could also name the color we could put all kinds of notes in there um, so you can do as much or as little as you like um, once you put in the bait so let's say I'm throwing this crankbait all day and every time I catch one I'm just gonna ding I'll catch it and it'll bring it up that I caught it on that DD crankbait so there you go, that's a, a just of how it works. Okay, and then, so let's, so we got these catch details. So now when we're done, we're gonna hit end, and it'll end trip, hit yes. Now it'll give you the stats. So it'll show you where you went. We didn't go very far yet, but, and they'll give you stats. Let's see, caught two catches, one species. We fished for three minutes, went, went zero miles, um, and we could follow that. So later on, say, later on next year whatever you want to see where your trip went you can hit you just hit this little arrow and it'll bring it up and it'll show you where you went in your trip we didn't go hardly go anywhere but it'll show you where you went in a trip and then where you caught those fish so pretty cool app really good to it's like a log book in your phone that you can use forever and you can go online when you go onto the website on your angler account and you can click trips on and off so say you only want to see january 
like I fished a lot here last January, so I click on, I just want to see the last January trips, and I can follow those around and see where I caught fish. So really a valuable tool that I think everybody needs to have. Super easy to use. Um, and you know you can make it more difficult by adding a lot of data in there if you want to have all of those things But really I, I usually just click it where I caught a fish and then I'll use that data for later on So really cool angler app get it try it. It's free the buttons are like 20 bucks if you buy a button Don't have to use a button just makes it easier <laughs> Fish on. Fishing. <laughs> All the big ones are not up. <laughs> There's no big ones in here, I don't think. Uh, so. He's a fun one. Get him. Of course I did. Uh, you thought you were getting caught up, so I just, uh, <laughs> I just uh, you know, I don't care what size they are. Right now, it's just how many. <laughs> you know, you, you started talking smack about getting caught up, and I'm now just, <laughs> I gotta put the wood to you for a minute or two. <laughs> yeah. So uh, kickers. There you go. That one I got. That one I got. God damn. <laughs> he keeps taking my bing bong. <laughs> oh, but this is a six. Teen incher. <laughs> nope. Thirteen incher. Boy, look at that. Shasta. That's what you come here for. Hey guys, we're, we're all done fishing, and now we're gonna close out our angler app that we got started on this morning. So here we are, we'll just go back to our angler app, and we're gonna hit this red button, and it's gonna say end trip, and we hit yes. Then it's gonna close out your trip, and you get to see all the fish we caught, so we go stats, caught 15 fish. Um, it can give us our air temperature, our conditions. Barometer kind of went down a little bit wind speed So and if it had a water station we could get the water data So that'll give you all your data and then if you want you can you can replay your trip you just go right here and it will Go through your trip Is it not there it goes. So it just kind of replays your trip and then every time you catch a fish it'll a fish will pop up it goes pretty quick and the better the signal is, the better the the graphics will be, because um, it works off a cell phone signal or Wi-Fi. Yeah. So you can kind of see where we went all over the lake. And every time we caught a fish, we kind of went back and forth. Here we go, headed back. Boom, caught one. <laughs> and I hope we didn't get dizzy. And there we are. So it shows our whole trip. We went up the sack and got up and caught some fish in these little spots here. And there's our trip on Angler.